Hello, welcome back to part 13 of this video tutorial how to build a Pac-Man game in XNA. Please don't forget to buy the content. Send 2 euro 95 to PayPal account XNA Pac-Man 2013 at hotmail.com. We send the content in 24 hours to your email address. In this tutorial we are going to implement the grids in the map builder game class. But before we can do that, we need to build the draw function first in the grid class. So let's do that first. A public void draw. And we need the sprite pads. And then we can say if draw. And then we need a for loop. So for int x is 0, x smaller or equal is than the grid width, x plus plus, and then we need another for loop, so for int i is 0, i smaller or equal is the grid height, i plus plus, and now we can draw the horizontal lines and therefore we're gonna need the lines to d function so lines to d draw line and we need to pass the sprite pads and draw a line draws a line from point 1 to point 2 so let's define the first point it's a new vector 2 and then the position dot x and i multiplied by the tile size plus position dot i and the second point is a new factor 2 and then the grid width multiplied by the tile size plus position x and i multiplied by the tile size plus position dot i and the color is white all right and now we can draw the vertical lines Okay, lines to D, draw a line, and then we need to pass the sprite pad, and then a new factor 2, and then x multiplied by tile size, plus the position x, and position dot i, and the second point is a new factor 2 x multiplied by tile size that's wrong multiplied by the tile size plus position dot x and then the grid height multiplied by the tile size plus position dot i yeah. and then the color is white right and this is the draw method so draw the grids on the screen the actual Sprite beds. All right. Draw. All right. 
and now we have built the draw methods, we can implement it in the map builder came class. So go to the came class, and the first thing we need to do is define the grid. So let's do that. A private grid grid. The grid object. Alright. And now we can create a new grid. So we go to the initialize and we can say here create a new grid. So grids is new grids and now we need to pass the tile size and that's the game one tile size and the grid width is 28 by 31 and now we need to set the position and you can set a new vector to and we place it on 160 and 48. Alright. So now we have created the grid. We need to update the grid. So we go to the update method. And after the escape key, we can say update the grid. And we can say here grids updates and we pass the game time. Alright. And now we need to draw a grid. So go to the draw method. And the first thing we're gonna do here is change the color in black. Then we need to set a sprite path begin and a sprite bats end and then we can draw the grids on the screen and that's of course grids dot draw and we need to pass the sprite bats all right And that's the crit. So let's test the crit. And before we can do that, we need to do another thing first. So go to the Solution Explorer and right click the mouse button. And we need to set this project as the startup project. So do that. And now we can test the crit. So let's run it. and build and there is the grid so I'll press the key key to test the toggle and that's work also and now we press escape to quit that's the grid all right now we need a cursor so let's build the cursor class go to project add a new class and we call it cursor dot cs and the first thing we're going to do is copy the using statement block from the object class and we paste it here and we're going to add a using statement using microsoft xna framework input and this time it is for the mouse the first thing we're going to do here is define some private variable. So let's do that. And it's the private factor 2 for the position. It's factor 2 0. And that's the position of the cursor on the screen. 
All right. And now we need a private vector two for the origin. Origin. And that's also a vector two zero. And that's the center of the cursor texture. All right. Now we need a texture. So private texture 2D. And we call it texture. That's the texture of the cursor. And we need a mouse state, so private mouse state, and we call it the current mouse state. Represents the current mouse state. And we need a scale, so private float scale. And that's the scale of the cursor. All right. So that are the private variables. And now we need a public variable, and that's a um, public color and we need its color and that's the color of the cursor and that's the public variables right okay well, I'm going to finish the tutorial here, and in the next tutorial, we're going to finish the cursor class, and we're going to implement it in the map builder. So, I hope you enjoy, and see you in the next tutorial. Bye!